Hello, Bengal fans. I'm Hugh Jackson, offensive coordinator of your Cincinnati Bengals. Let's go, man. Let's go. Let's go. We got to get better today. Got to get better today. Back with that MLG All-22 series, baby. Cincinnati Bengals, Hugh Jackson. We're going to start out here with a two-by-two. Two with Actually, the tight end is in line right here. He's on the line of scrimmage with his hand in the dirt. Uh, they run a switch concept with the running back on a flat, which I think really set, set the spice of this playoff. It's very rare that you'll see that flat on that switch concept, but it, uh, it holds that curl flat defender possibly for that wheel. But as you can see here, the post is wide open. Um, yeah, you can run switch many ways on Madden. It's based on the game, but the way that the, the Bengals ran it, um, I recreated pretty well. Basically, I just motioned. You can run it out of the pistol or normal shotgun spread, motion the running back to the slot, put him on that flat route to the side of the post uh, switch concept, not to the dig. I feel like it uh, frees that one up a little bit better. Here it is. We're going to show it against... Um, man-to-man -man coverage but it's the same idea as what you saw in the video actually the beauty of it is we got marvin jones running the exact route he ran in the video um and i got the running back to the flat now that would be a very good play against zone as well um so i think that 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 actually transitioned to the game pretty well i'm, I'm just going over what impressed me about the Bengals. they have one of the best offenses i've seen on the all 22 a lot of shifts motions um, this play right here is a spot play with the tight end actually going vertical, not to the corner, or which is what you're normally going to see on the game. They scored twice on that play. Uh, the Bang, I'm sorry, the Seahawks really had no answer for it. Every time that spot route came, that three or uh, the man over the tight end would jump that spot. So literally, they scored on it twice to Eifert. Um, but as you can see here, all you have to do is I ran it at a gun normal, ran a basic spot play and put the running back on the uh, the seam. And as you can see here, if, if there's going to be a hole there, um, unless it's just a soft defense where everyone's dropping back. But that's normally the look you're going to get here. We've got your uh, your base empty tight end screen. Um, I know a lot of teams do run this, but. This actually, almost every time, single time I see it on all 22, has a chance to get out the gate. Um, so I wanted to, I mean, that's, this is probably the easiest play to recreate. So I'll just let you watch the, uh, the video for this particular play. But I basically broke down four videos of the Bengals. Um, uh, the two that I put in the beginning were spicier than these, possibly, uh, during the same game against the Seahawks last week. But you can't recreate those plays. They were basically checking from, like, strong to empty or Statue of Liberty or a chicken to like under center shit with tight ends to empty formations and bunch formations. A lot of that shit, you can't check to that on a video game this year. Um, other than that, they ran a lot of gun trips and just beat man to man. I think Hugh Jackson is one of the best young coaches in the league. Uh, last play I'll show here, this is actually a shift as well. They're gonna shift to what is bunch quads on the video game and isolate AJ Green over there. Sherman started shadowing him at a certain point in the game. And um, it's basically what I recreated here. This is cover going against cover one. You like the odds of that matchup with AJ Green um, isolated. The quads bunch is just a tough formation to stop, man. It's because you've got one side flooded to the points where you have to swing everything over there. So if you have an ace to that solo side like an AJ Green, 
Well, as you can see, shit on Richard Sherman. He really did all game. Here's the visual of the play and how I ran it on the game. You can run it at a stick. I think there's two stick concepts. There's a spot concept with that backside slant. Or you could always just check him to a backside slant. And um, that's exactly how it looked on the, on the video. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be back next week with another squad. MLG, baby.